Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel again. As you can tell, I'm in a new location. I think it's taken me about five videos to actually find a place I feel quite happy filming and I've discovered a new corner of my bedroom. Bear in mind my bedroom is really small, um, but the light's quite forgiving and it's like not too cluttered, but there's more going on in the background. So I think I've almost found my, my balance. So yeah, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I haven't, I think I've, my last video was the capsule wardrobe one, which I filmed just before Christmas. So hopefully, I, I got lots of really nice comments on that actually. Um, so thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more kind of fashion videos, let me know as well, because they're really fun to film. And I think I quite, quite enjoyed doing them. So yeah, if you like that, let me know, or if you have any more ideas. Yeah. But anyway, today I am filming a favourites video, or a monthly favourites. I know it's kind of more to the middle of January now, but these are my December favourites, or current favourites, let's say, because it's a bit delayed, and because I only do a few videos a month, it kind of, like, doesn't almost work out every month anyway, because... <sighs> whatever, whatever, love, you're waffling again. So anyway, let's get started, and here we go! So my first favourite this month is my One Line A Day book. Um, I got this for my birthday last year actually from my lovely friend Hannah and Steph. Um, I wanted to wait to start at the beginning of January because that's when it starts but I've kind of been very very patient I've just started it and it's such a wonderful idea. I used to keep a diary when I was little really religiously. I had the Jacqueline Wilson diaries which I used to fill out and I kept them, and I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I kept them for ages and ages, and I love looking back on them, because they remind me of what I did, and that's what a diary's for. But, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying filling this out, and I'm almost really excited to kind of read it back in five years, and kind of see it packed out with everything. But it's just a few lines that you fill in every day, and it's just a really nice way of keeping track of things. So, yeah. Thank you, Hannah. So, my next favourite is this little mysterious kind of envelope thing. Um, this is called Card Box and it's a little... So Maggie's really crackling downstairs. And it's a little creation by a brand called Evermade and basically what it is is you buy it from their website or their shop and it contains about five or six, I think it's six, different cards, different occasion cards um, for all sorts of things. There's a Just Married one, Carrie you might be getting there if you're lucky, a Father's Day one, um, all sorts basically and why I love this is because I seem to collect greetings cards all throughout the year um, when I'm out in my stationery shops. I just pick them up and acquire them, just so I've always got something handy because I'm quite good at forgetting dates and occasions. So this is amazing because it covers all things and you can get Christmas ones, you can get different colour sets and they're just a really cool idea and they're not overly expensive and they're just, it's really cool and they're really nice designs as well so really enjoying that. The next thing is this notebook um, I got from, Chris from Christmas from my mum and dad at Christmas. Um, it's from Anthropology. Um, but I saw this ages ago. It was on my blog shop for ages, and I was like, it's so cool. Um, I love notebooks. I've got a really awful, awful habit of collecting them and just buying them and never really filling them out or filling a few pages out and then kind of discarding it and moving on to the next one and it's really not very economical with stationery but yeah this one is so lovely it's like a travel journal um but I just love the design I love all things anthropology at the moment I've got a few different bits for Christmas from there um but I just picked this up and I thought I've got to include it because it's so pretty um so yeah great notebooks stationery love Okay, so my next favourite is a book. Um, I've actually, the irony of this book is that I've tidied it away and couldn't find it. And it's called The Life Changing Magic of Tidying. And I can't find it, I think it's downstairs, oh my god. But it's amazing and I really wanted to talk about it because I know it's one of those, it is one of those books that has been everywhere online, loads of people have spoken about it and I, I can see why it's one of those, it's one of those craze items, I think, but it's so good. I got it for Christmas after asking for it, and within about five pages, I'd thrown out about 20 black bags of stuff. And my room, it's not big, it's not messy, it's not overly cluttered. I just have a lot of stuff and I hold on to a lot of things. And within reading a few pages, my like mindset kind of shifted. I think it was probably the start of the year as well, and maybe hormones, but we'll just push those to one side and I cleaned out so much stuff that it was remarkable and I've not finished it yet and I've not kind of sorted everything I want to but if you're after a bit of a January cleanse that doesn't involve not eating sugar or bread 
that is a great way to start because it gave me such a boost in terms of tidying and feeling more organised. I think when you know where everything is, you mentally feel more organised. Like, I've got to do my tax return, which I'm not looking forward to, but now I've tidied everywhere. I know kind of where all my receipts are, I know where everything's filed, so I'm not going to be in a mad panic in a couple of days, should do in a couple of days, time. Um, so yeah, before I ramble again, Life Changing Magic for Tidying, amazing book. I think it's by Marie Kondo, I'll link it all below, because I don't want to get her name wrong, but she's amazing. A smelly fragrance, a smelly fragrance, a smelly favourite. <laughs> it is a smelly fragrance though, but this is the Jo Malo Mimosa and Cardamom fragrance, which came out I think in September, and I haven't really come around to using it until now. I think I first used it around Christmas because I wanted a new smell, um, I wanted something a bit more special than kind of my standard fragrances that I kind of acquire and don't really always wear, but this is such a beautiful scent. It's, I know, with Jo Malone fragrances, it kind of it says what it does on the tin, it's so beautiful, it lasts all day, it's one of those smells that you can smell on yourself at the end of the day as well, it doesn't kind of come off oh, and you can still smell it. <sighs> wow, Liv. Fragrance description really is not my forte, but I should do that thing to know people smell it and go, oh, that smells amazing. And it does, it's really lovely. So I've actually got some more beauty favourites this month, opposed to the last couple of months, which I haven't really spoken about, but I thought I'd include them now. I don't know whether to do another skincare video, if people would like that, I don't know. But this cleanser from Ren is the Ever Calm Cleanser, and oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. I've nearly finished it. Um, because my mum has started using it too. Thank you, mum. But it's that good. I love it so much. I've used it for the last month and a half, and I've kind of had very few. I've not really had any breakouts bar this spot that has obviously just come up as I film. But it's so gentle. It's really nourishing and moisturising. My skin just feels really soft after I use it, and it's really gentle. I think. I think that's why I like it the most because it's it's not exfoliating. It's not. It doesn't claim to do all these amazing grand things, it's just a great cleanser, it doesn't break me out, doesn't make me red, doesn't make me dry, just a nice cleanser, so yeah, cleanser points to this. So following from my cleanser I have another moisturiser that I've really been loving which is by Lancome and it's the Beauty Sleep Perfector, that's right, and it's kind of like a gel consistency but this is another thing that I've really really loved this month, it's nearly all gone. but um. I just, it, it is another really moisturising product, I put it on last thing at night and when I wake up my skin still feels quite dewy, which is always a good sign I think of a really nice moisturiser because I don't feel like dehydrated in the morning, I don't feel like my skin has just slurped it all up, which is a really horrible analogy, but yeah, this moisturiser is amazing, um, yeah, not much to say about that, but it's very nice. <laughs> So some hair bits now, um, these are a shampoo and conditioner set from Bumble and Bumble which I am obsessed with. Um, I have quite fine hair, um, there's quite a lot of it but it's very fine and it's quite delicate and it can come out quite easily when I brush it and it's, it's just, it's very fine, it's like baby hair. But, and I really struggle to find kind of a good shampoo and conditioner that doesn't, that gives thickness and doesn't make my hair feel dirty because I think sometimes when I use a nice conditioner or shampoo that's meant to be thickening and add strength and volume, it just makes my hair feel a bit like it's not been washed properly because it kind of just my hair holds on to everything. But this is amazing. It's called the Full Potential Hair Preserving Shampoo and Conditioner. And what it does, or claims to say it does and does, is that it kind of adds body and volume and it stops, it kind of keeps hair on your head longer, if that makes sense. It, kind of it doesn't it stops it breaking so much so when you brush your hair you know when you get the build up of hair in a brush it kind of prevents that so much and it's just such a nice shampoo it leaves my hair feeling really clean and healthy and that's all you want in a shampoo I mean I've tried a few different ones and it doesn't I don't know I just I don't know a lot about shampoo I can't say it's not got this it's got this in it but all I know is it makes my hair feel clean like it's been washed properly and that it doesn't feel like brown smoke or baby hair or just nothing. It gives me a it look, basically look like this basically and today it doesn't look too bad, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, a fashion item. Um, this Kate Spade bag definitely made it into my December favourites because look at it, it's so beautiful. I was lucky enough to have a Kate Spade voucher around Christmas last year and I decided to put it towards this beautiful bag because 
It's unlike anything else I really have in my world. I don't really have a navy bag. I know you, should, you don't need a bag in every colour. But it's a really nice size. You can fit quite a lot in there. You can fit like a small digital camera, purse, phone, essentials, which is always good. It's got a strap so I don't have to carry it like this, like a little old lady or like Kate Middleton. Nothing wrong with either of the two. Big fans of old ladies and Kate Middleton. But yeah, it's just such a nice bag and I love the little jewels on it. It makes it a little bit more special than just kind of more standard formal bag. So yeah, very nice. Okay, so one more clothing item is this amazing pink Mac from Bowdoin. Um, I spotted this at their press day, um, which was a couple of months ago, and it's just come online and I am completely in love with it. It's such a nice kind of dusty pink colour. Um, it's oh, You can see that, I don't know why I describe colours of things to people that can clearly see the colour of this. But it's nice and cropped, it kind of looks really cool with jeans, it'd be great in the summer with a little like white summer dress underneath it and little flats and I just, I think it's just really cool, it's really chic and I've got a little roll neck under that at the moment but I'm just in love with it, it's a little bit of a nice alternative to a nice cam like camel trench um, but it's still quite girly and it's just my favourite colour in the whole world and I'm I love it, I keep like, I, I go all girly when I talk about clothes, I'm like oh it's my favourite colour, I love it but yeah completely in love with this. So my last favourite for the month is cinnamon buns because I'm obsessed with the damn things. I got a cookbook for Christmas, um, the Violet Bakery one, which is amazing. Her recipes are beautiful. Um, they're seasonal. I'm quoting the cover now because Jamie Oliver says they're seasonal, but no, they're really easy to make. And this morning, after not passing my theory test and feeling a bit rubbish and a bit miserable, I was like, ha, huh, what can fix this? Dough, cinnamon and sugar. So I made them and they took about an hour, like dough, everything included, which is amazing. They yeast freeze, they don't have to rise, but they're so delicious and I haven't got any up here because I can't be trusted with them in any room. But I'm going to insert a nice Bake Off inspired clip here to tell you about how much I love them. But yeah, they are amazing, great recipe book. I'm going to include the recipe on my blog. Um, Although it's in her book and it's online on lots of different websites, I thought I just, because I made them, I thought I'd take some photos and snap them, but yeah, I wish it was my recipe, I really do, but yeah, one day I'll have my own soon, my recipe. But yeah, that is a favourite. <laughs> and that is everything, that is my monthly favourites for December slash beginning of January. Um, I hope you really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed filming this, I'm happy with my little setup now, which has taken me about 20 videos to discover, but I'm happy with that. I've had some lovely, I've discovered some lovely things this month, I've eaten some nice things this month and I hope some of it inspires you. As always, if you like the video please give a thumbs up and also if you have any more ideas for videos, so I had a few fashion, more fashion video requests, I'm hoping to film a lookbook very soon. Um, I think that's everything, maybe a makeup one, I think I'm pretty going to stick to fashion because that is kind of my area of knowledge, but um, yeah, before I go on to another ramble, which could happen imminently. I'm going to love you and leave you and thank you again for watching. Bye!